Yes, uh, hello to you all. Today we are going to start with a new topic that is probation or this called as a sequence, a sequences and series. So we'll discuss on that, sequences and series. So there are different types of the sequences are there. So we'll start with that. Sequences. So what is the meaning of sequence? It is very simple arrangement of a numbers. The proper order is called as a sequence. Arrangement of a number in the proper order is called as a sequence. There are different types of the sequence that is called as a progression. So different types of progression. The first one is called as AP, the second one is GP and the third one is HP. So we'll discuss one by one the definition of AP, GP and HP. So this is the first one, the types of the progression. Types of progression. So all the types of progression, first one, it is called as arithmetic progression. Arithmetic progression. The second one is called as geometric progression. Third is called as harmonic progression. In short, the arithmetic progression is also called as AP, this is called as GP, and the last one is called as HC. AP, GP, and HP. Now we will go discuss with one by one in the lecture. So the first we will discuss about arithmetic progression. So what is the meaning of arithmetic progression? Arithmetic progression. It is called as a, arithmetic progression in nothing but A, B. So you now consider that there are different, different uh, sequences in this. So very simple sequence here. 1, 5, 9, 13, like this. The next is say 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. 3, 6, 9, 12, so on. Say 5, 10, 15, so on. So what is this? These all are, these all are the APs here. So what is the similarity in all this? If you observe that, the difference between the two terms, that is 1 minus 5, so for the 5 minus 1 is 4. This difference is also 4. This difference is 4. So that means there is a constant difference throughout. The constant difference throughout, here also the same, 2, 2, 2. This is a constant difference throughout. So that particular sequence is called as a arithmetic progression, that is T2 minus T1 should be equal to T3 minus T2 should be equal to T4 minus T3 and so on. Tn plus 1 minus Tn. That is always constant. So this is constant in general. So that is the definition we can say that when Tn plus 1 minus Tn is constant, that is independent of n, then that particular progression is called as a arithmetic progression. That progression is called as a arithmetic progression. So now let's give you basic formulas how to find the particular term in AP and how to find the sum of AP. So we'll discuss one by one. So first is how to find particular term. Let A A be the first term and D D be the common difference. D with the common difference for A. A is the first term and D is a common difference of A. B. So, in the first term, that is the sequence we call the sequences, then A B will be what is A B? The first term is A, so it's A, A plus D, A plus 2 D, A plus 3 D, like this, so last term. So, what A is the last term? What is the TN? That's a question mark here. So what is the DA? If you observe it properly, the first term here, first term is T1, so T1 by the carry, we can say it is A plus 0 D. Here it is T2, T2 by the carry, A plus 1 D. Then here it is the T3. So what is what is Tn? What is the Tn should be what? That's the question. If it is 4, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, D. So, N will be there, it should be what? It should be A plus N minus 1, D. That's the first formula in A, B. The T, N. The T, N is always given by A plus N minus 1, D. So, that is the first formula for this T, N. The T, N is A plus N minus 
Y B that sector. So you start with that. So here the first formula. Formula for A B. If A is first term and D is common difference, then T is a plus n minus 1d. Similarly, the sum. What is sum? The sum of uh, terms. So, sum of terms will be what? So, directly I am using the formula because we don't have this topic uh, for relevant sign. We will just point to the JWT point which is popular with importance. So, formula here sum of n terms. Sum of n terms. In A B is always given by what? Is always equal to n by two. So n into a n by two two a plus n minus one b. That is there. That is nothing but we can say is n into first term. Plus last term divided by two. That is every term first and last divided by two into n. So that is also the formula. The sum of n terms in A P that is given by S N. So S N is this. So we have S N is what? S N is given by n by two two a plus n minus one d. That is nothing but n into first term. Plus last term divided by two. So that is the in general formula to how to find S N in this. As well as how what is the meaning of A N? Arithmetic mean. So that we discuss on that. If A and B are in, if A is arithmetic mean, next is. Arithmetic mean. So, what is the meaning of this? If A is arithmetic mean, that is also called as A n of A and B. That is, A A and B are in arithmetic progression. That is, in arithmetic progression. So, that means the difference between the two terms, A minus A, should be equal to this, B minus A. A will be on this side, so 2a is a plus b, so a is a base. Automatic mean, automatic mean of two numbers, a and b, a is a plus b upon 2. So that is the automatic mean of the two numbers is always given by a is equal to what? a plus b upon 2. Then insertion of insertion of n a n insertion of n a n in between a and b. What is the meaning of this? An insertion of n number of a n in between a and b means is a and b are the two numbers. We insert the difference up to a n like this. So difference, uh, different arithmetic mean in between. So what is this one here? A. The next term will be what? A one will be what? A plus b. What is a two here? A two will be a plus two b like this. A n will be a plus and B. So what is B? Here B will be A plus A plus N plus 1B like this. Because it's A plus NB, so next term will be what? A plus N plus 1B. And therefore the B in this case, the B is B minus A upon N plus 1. So common difference in that case, if you insert N number of and then the common difference is always given by last term minus first term divided by 
n plus 1. So this is a common difference formula. If you want to insert n number of arithmetic mean in between the two numbers a and b. So remember this is all and now based on this. So based on this we can just solve the sums of arithmetic progression. Yes, uh, so now based on the previous this concept, we will solve your numericals. So we we'll start with the uh, numericals. Yes, so in this question, so what is given here in the first question? What is given uh, that in A B the E9 is 35, D90 is 75. The question is what is C20? So in arithmetic progression, we know that we know that T n is always A plus and minus Y. In this way, so D9, D9 will be what? A plus A D. So A D ka value we have 35. And similarly, D19 is what? It is A plus A T D. And the value is given as 75. So clearly from this 2, if we subtract 2 from 1, this 2 minus 1 cut away. So this minus this will give you 10 D is equal to 40. So D is equal to what? So you have a clear cut, so D should be equal to what? 4. And if we put D equal to 4 in this, the first one, from 1, A plus 8 into 4, that should be equal to 35. So A is equal to 3. So what is 20? D 20 is A plus 19 D. And that is 3 plus 19 into 4, 76 plus 3, that is equal to 79. So that is the answer for this. 79 is the answer for the first question. Yes, so look at the next question, question, second question of this. So in uh, question number two, there is in A B, the D P is given as Q and T Q is given as P. What is T P plus Q? What is T P plus Q? So we are going with the first formula only. That is T P. T P is always given by what? T P is A plus P minus 1 D, where A is a first term and so that is this is given as Q. This value is given as Q. Similarly, GQ is A plus Q minus 1 D. So the value is given as P. Subtracting this 2. That is subtracting, subtracting 1 minus 2. So this is 1 and this is 2. So 1 minus 2 will be you know, A get cancelled. This is P minus Q D. That should be equal to what Q minus P and then divided by this. So D ka value I got minus 1. And D value is subtracted back in the first from 1. From 1 it is A plus P minus 1 into minus 1 is equal to Q. So that is A minus P plus 1 is equal to Q. So like this A should be equal to P plus Q minus 1. So A is equal to what? P plus Q minus 1. 1 and therefore T P plus Q that is equal to A plus P plus Q minus 1 D that is equal to A is A plus P plus Q minus 1 D so that is nothing but here it is clear that this value is A and this value is minus so A minus A so answer is 0 for this so answer is 0 so T P plus Q is equal to 0 for this. That's a very simple answer here. Yeah? That's it. Yes, uh, in the next question, the next question is question 3. So the sequence is given, the arithmetic progression is given 5a derivative 14 and tn is given as 320. What is n? That's the question. The question is what is the value of? And here. Now it is clear that the difference between the two terms is constant, that is T. So it is arithmetic progression. So here the first term, A is equal to what? 5. And common difference, B is equal to 3. So we know that Tm is equal to A plus N minus 1D. And the value are already the other. It is 320. A is given as 5. We want to calculate N and D is 3. So what is that? 
is G20 December the side of 315 is equal 315 is n minus 1 into 3. So divide by 3, what is that? It is 105 is equal to n minus 1. So n is equal to what? n is equal to 106. So answer is 106 term of this. This is called, this is answer, 106 term. Yes, uh, in the next question, question number 4, it is given that A, B, C in A, B, then what is the value of A minus C, the whole square? How to find this? So it is A, B, C in A, B means what? In A, B, A, B, C in A, B, which is the meaning of A, B, C in arithmetic progression. So what is the meaning of this? The meaning is very simple. B minus A should be equal to C minus B. That is, by definition, so we can say 2B is equal to A plus C. So 2B is equal to A plus C. Squaring both the sides, squaring both the sides, it's the square line of 4B square, A plus C, the whole square, which is nothing but what? 4B square is equal to A square plus C square plus 2AC. Then subtracting. 4AC from both sides. So taken 4AC from both sides. So it is 4B square minus 4AC. A square plus C square plus 2AC minus 4AC. So A square plus C square minus 2AC, which is A minus C the whole square. And here we can say 4 is common. So in the bracket it is B square minus Four is so answer is this. That is a minus c the whole square is four into the bracket b square minus a c. Yes, uh, in the next question it is given that the question number five that is T P is a and G Q is b and T R is c. The question is what is the value of this expression now? TP, let the first term be A, the first, let the first term, capital A, and common difference as D. Let the first term be A, and the common difference is D in the, uh, this circular. So what is TP? TP is A plus P minus 1 into T and that value is given as A. Similarly, TQ, TQ is A plus Q minus 1 T and that is equal to B. TR is equal to A plus R minus 1 T and that value is equal to C. So like this expression this is already given to you. Now, in this expressions, if we subtract the two, that is 1 minus 2, 1 minus 2 will give you 1. This and this cancel is P minus QD is equal to A minus B. P minus Q is A minus B. So, therefore, P minus Q is equal to A minus B upon D. Similarly, 2 minus 3, if it is a 2 minus 3, then Q minus R D. Q minus R D will be what? B minus C. So, Q minus R is equal to B minus C upon D. And if it's the right 3 minus 1, that is this minus this, so that gives you R minus P D, which is equal to C minus A. Therefore, R minus P is C minus A upon D. Now, we will put the values in this expression that we want to find A into Q minus R plus B into R minus P plus C into P minus Q. Now, we substitute out all these values here. So, A is A into B minus C upon B, A into B minus C upon B plus B into C minus A, C minus A upon B plus C into a minus B upon D, like this. So now D is considered as a common LCM. So it is AB minus AC, B 
BC minus AP, AC minus BC, like this. So now look at this values here, so everything get cancelled, so it is 0 upon B, so answer is 0 for this. That's very simple question, question number 5. So it looks like we complicated, but actually it is a very easy. Yes, uh, the next question it is given that Tn is equal to n. Tn is equal to n, then what is Ab? So again, the same formula which is used in the previous case. So what is uh, Tn? So Tm is A plus M minus 1D, and the value is n. Similarly, Tn, Tn is what? A plus n minus 1 d, this value is given as n. Subtracting this two, but because subtract here to the area, n minus n, because this will get cancelled, so it is n minus n d is equal to n minus n, so d should be equal to what? Minus 1. So d is equal to minus 1, d substitute in 1, so d equal to from uh, this, so from 1, this is d is minus 1, you have a plus n minus 1 minus 1 n so a minus n plus 1 is equal to n so a is equal to n plus n minus 1 like this so d is minus 1 and a is equal to n plus n minus 1 so what is tp now tp is a plus p minus 1 d so put the value of a a is n plus n minus 1. It is n plus n minus 1 and this is d is minus 1. So it is n plus n minus 1 minus p plus 1. So this is cancelled. So like this. So that is tp. So tp is n plus n minus p. That is the pth term of this expression. n plus n minus p. Yes, yeah, so the next uh, question number 7 here. Yeah. A, B, C, D, E in A, B, then what is the value of A minus 4B plus C, C minus 4D plus E? So, is the value here? Yeah. What is the value of this? That's the question. So, here you can say A is a positive as it is, A is as it is, and B will be what? A plus D, C will be what? A plus 2D, and D is equal to, so D already there, so we start the word there, D, 2D. And D is A plus 3D. E will be A plus 4D. And the substitute here in this expression. So this is A. A will remain as it is. B value of I got A plus D. Similarly, 6 into C. C value of I got A plus 2D minus 4. D value of I got A plus 3D plus E. So that is A plus 4D. Now we have to calculate this, so that is a minus 4a minus 4d plus 6a plus 12d minus 4a minus 12d plus a plus 4d like this. So what is that? So it is, if you observe this, this is 6a a and this a become 8a and this a a get cancelled for 4D and this 4D also get cancelled. 12D and 12D also get cancelled. So everything get cancelled here. So answer is 0 for this. So answer will be what? 0. That's it. Yes, so the next question, question number 8, it is given at D n, D n is already given to you, it is 1 upon 3, 2 n plus 1, then what is the sum of 19 term? That is a question, what is the sum of 19 term? So very simple here, yeah. when you put n equal to 1, that will give you T 1, so it is 1 upon 3, 2 plus 1, that is 3, 3 cancelled, so it is 1. When you put n equal to 2 in this, it is 1 upon 3, 2 into 2 plus 1, that is 5 by 3. When n equal to 3, we will put 2 into 3 plus 1. So what is that? 6 plus 1, that is 7 upon 3. 
So clear cut here, the first term is 1, first term that is equal to A is 1 and common difference, the common difference that is B is equal to 2 by 3 and therefore the sum of 19th term, sum of n terms of formula n by 2, 2n plus n minus 1b. That is the formula for sum of n terms. So what is sum of n 19 here? It should be 19 by 2, 2 into 1 plus 19 minus 1. The common difference is 2 upon 3. So answer for this is 19 upon 2, 2 plus 18 into 2 divided by 3. So this is cancelled, 6 into 2 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14. So it is 19 upon 2 into 14. So this is cancelled, 19 is plus. That's like this. So answer is 133. The sum of 19th term, sum of 19th term will be what? 133. Yes, yeah, so the next uh, question, question number 9, this question 9 is what is there in this question? It is the sum of p term, the sum of p term is equal to sum of q term. The sum of p term is equal to sum of q term. So what is the sum of p plus q term? That's the question. What is sum of p plus q term? So now we will use the formula of sum. The summation, sum of p is p by 2. 2a plus n minus 1. So n is here is p. So it's p minus 1 d like this. That is sum of p term. And sum of q term is q by 2. 2a plus q minus 1 d. So now it's clearly mentioned that both are same. It is mentioned that both are equal. sp is equal to sq. Matlab sp minus sq should be equal to Zero. So, we will subtract the length. So, what is the subtraction of this? We just subtract this first to multiply in. So, it is under jayana. So, this goes in. So, what is that? It is AP. So, one SP will be what? It is SP is AP AN to P uh, P into P minus 1 upon 2 d. Similarly, sq is sq is a into q plus q into q minus 1 upon 2 d. Now, subtraction will get you what? sp minus sq. sp minus sq will be 0. So, that is a into p minus q here p into p minus 1. So we can say d upon 2 is common. d upon 2 is common. So p square minus p. It is p square minus p plus q square minus q. It is subtract. So minus q square plus q jaga because sign will reverse. So it is equals to 0. It is equals to what? 0. Now, we have to calculate uh, what is the condition for D, first of all. So, we will find the condition for D. So, A into P minus Q plus D upon 2. Now, here, P square minus Q square is P minus Q, P plus Q. And this is minus common, so it is P minus Q. The expression is this. Minus p and this will get a minus common. p square minus p square is written as p minus q into p plus q like this. So now here a p minus q plus d by 2 p minus q is common. So on the budget of p plus q minus 1 equal to 0. If p is non equals to q because that has to be. Then P minus Q non equal to 0. So P minus Q is cancel out from both the sides. So A plus D upon 2. A plus this and P plus Q minus 1. A plus this. Uh, A plus D by 2 into P plus Q minus 1 should be equal to 
0. Multiply by 2 in this, multiply by this into 2. This gives you multiplying by 2. This gives 2 and plus p plus q minus 1 that should be equal to 0. And then we want to multiply by p plus q upon 2. So s of p plus q here. S of p plus q is p plus q upon 2. It is like 2a plus p plus q minus 1 into e. Now this value from here it is 0. So that is p plus q upon 2 into 0. So final answer will be what? 0 here. So like this, this is the formula for s of p plus q is p and s of n is n by 2 2 n plus n minus 1 thing. So s of p plus q k over p plus q upon 2 2 a plus p plus q minus 1 into d. Now this value we are taken from this. That is this value we have substituted here in this here. This value is absolutely so p plus q upon 2 into 0. So your answer will be what? 0. That's it. That's our answer. answer is 0 for this. Yes, yeah, so the next question here, the question number 10. That is in A, B, S n is given as P n plus Q n squared. That is the value of S n. Then what is the common difference we? What is the value of common difference? That is what is the value of d which you have to find in this. Now Sn is given, we put n equal to 1 in this. Sn is n is equal to 1, that is S1. So S1 is P plus Q and that is nothing but your first term. Because S1 is nothing but the first term. Similarly, put S2 in this. So when S2 I put here, so S2 is nothing but P into 2 plus Q into 2 square and that is nothing but sum of two terms so that is p1 plus p2 so we can say that p1 plus p2 is equal to 2p plus 4q and t1 is here t1 is what t1 is equal to t1 is equal to p plus q so now when you subtract this to when you subtract this to the subtraction will give you this is cancelled so t2 is equal to what this and this cancel, so it's P plus DQ. So P plus DQ is equal to T2. And what is the T1? T1 is T1 is equal to P plus P plus Q. So T1 is P plus Q. So now using this concept, T2 is P plus DQ and T1 is P plus Q. Therefore, the common difference is common difference is T2 minus T1, that is P plus 3Q minus P plus Q. So what is that? P plus 3Q minus P plus Q. So answer is what? 2Q. So 2Q is a common difference. Yes, uh, the next question have the question number 11. So what is given? The sum and sum of the integers in between 81 to 719, which is divisible by 5. So, what is the sum of this? So, first of all, you should know what are the integers are there. So, anything which is divisible by 5 in a unit place, in the unit place of that is always 0 or 5. 0 or 5, then and then. So, what is the next? If 81 is the first, uh, uh, this one boundary given initial and the last boundary is 719. So we'll find what is the first uh, term and what is the last term first. So what is the first term here? The first term will be 85. The next will be 19, 95. Like this. Now 719 is there. So 719 is a pile of value to term. Right? So to divisible by 5 over the whole So that is clearly from this. So here that A is 85 and D is 5. So we got here. What is N? That's the first thing. So we calculate N first. So what is N here? So D N is A plus N minus 1 D. That's the formula. So here 715 is equal to 85 N minus 1 into 5. That is it. This goes this side. So that's 715 minus 85 
is equal to n minus 1 into pi. So what is this? 750 minus 85. इतना होगा right? 750 minus 85 इतना होता है zero. So it is 630. So it is 630. 630 divided by 5 is n minus 1. So divide this by 5. 5 1s are 5 2s are. Pachega 3, so it's 26 n minus 1. So n is equal to 127. So we have n value I have 127. That means the sum, the required sum is nothing but the sum of 127 term. And that formula is as formula for the SN we will use. It is n by 2, 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So it is 127 upon 2, 2 into 85 plus 127 minus 1 into 5, like this. So that is nothing but 127 upon 2. 2 into 85, what is that? It is 170 plus 126. So it is 126 into 5. So it is 630. It is 630. So 630 plus this. That is 7, 800, so it is a 127 into 800 divided by 2, so it is 127 into 400. Yes, yeah, so 127 into 400, so that gives you 50800. So the answer is 50800. That's it. Yes, uh, next one is quite similar to that. It is 100 to 300. How many uh, this sum is? These are numbers divisible by like 7. So, sum of the numbers which are divisible in between 100 to 300. That's the question. So, you have to always look out for the first number. The first number, 47 is 98. So, 98 ke power 7, that is the first number here, will be 105. So, first number is 105. Next is 112, like this. If 300 divided by 7, the, what is the, uh, the, the denominator C? So, 300 divided by 7, 7 fours are 28. 7 fours are 28. Then, 7 twos are 14, so that's where this is 6. 6 means you have to less than minus 6 per number here. So the last number should be what? 294. So 294 is the last number in this. So 294, this remainder you have to subtract from this. So that is 294 is the last number which is completely divisible by 7. So now again the same. So A is 105, D is 7. What is N? So here T N is A plus N minus 1 D. So 294 is equal to 105 plus N minus 1 into 7. So that is 294 minus 105. So 294 minus 105 is now the way. So what is that? 294 minus 105, 14 minus 5, that is 9. 8, 14 minus 5, 9, then 8, and then, so it's 189, so it is a 189, so it is 189 divided by 7 is n minus 1, 7 to the 14, 7 to the 14, so it is 27, so n is equal to what? Here n is equal to 28, but the question is you are defining sum. So when sum is there, the sum of 28 term is equal to n upon 2, means 28 upon 2, 2 into first term, which is 105 plus n minus 1 d. So this is 28 minus 1 into d, that is 28 minus 1 into d. So that is the answer here is 14. Is the total that goes 210 and that is 27 into 7. So what is 27 into 7? So that calculation which you have to do, that is 27 7s are 49, 
Yes, so answer here is 14 into 399 is 5 by 86. Like this, so that's the final answer here. Yes, the next question is that question number 13. The Tn is given as 2n minus 1. So, what is Sn? So, again, the same. What is we will find common difference first, so t n is given, what is the common difference? So t n is 2, 1 minus 1 is 1, t 2 is 2 into 2 minus 1, so 4 minus 1 is 3. So clear cut, so common difference t 2 minus t 1 is equal to t, t is equal to 2. So s n is here, s n is n by 2, 2n 2 plus n minus 1 d. This is your first term, so that is a also, so a is equal to 1. We will put here so 2 into 1 plus n minus 1 into 2. For that, we will use n by 2, 2 plus 2n minus 2. So this is cancelled. n by 2 into 2, and this is cancelled. So answer is n squared. So the value of this is n is equal to what? n squared. Yes, uh, next question, question number. 14, so in that 14 sum, what is the sum of n number of arithmetic mean in between a and b? n number of arithmetic mean in between a and b, what is the sum? So, it's clear that the middle value, the middle value is what? This is the average of the first and last, this one. So, the middle term here is, the total number, so middle term is, middle term which we have to calculate is always a plus b upon 2 first plus last upon 2 or middle term or average we can say average or an average of middle term so no mistake and the sum of n terms the sum of n terms the sum of n middle terms so a1 plus a2 plus an is equal to n into a plus b upon 2 like the sum of this the order of the middle value sums is the n times of this. It's very simple. If you want to know this exactly how it works, so see here, suppose we consider the any sequence 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. The sum of this three terms, three terms, so 3 into 5. Middle term, 5 is the middle term into 3, so that is 15. Suppose you want to find the sum of 5 terms, so you want to multiply with 5 into 5. 5 is the middle term, like this. If you want to find the next line, the next expression sum of 7 term, here 11, here is minus 1, will go decreasing like this. That is again the 5 into that. So that 5 into the next jitna uh, we have to 5 into 7, that is 35. So it is will come. So always the middle term you have to concentrate. And jitna nanda pucha hai, middle term, the middle term, so sum of 3 middle term, sum of 5 middle term, sum of 7 middle term is always number of middle term into the average of the middle term. Sometimes uh, middle term is strictly possible because n plus uh, the number of terms is odd, then there is only one middle term and the number of terms are even, then you have to take the average of that. That is middle value, especially. And the middle value is always equal to the sum of first and last divided by 2 also, no problem. But in that is very crucial that you should know how to do that. So here it's very simple. I just calculate this, this average of the middle term, the a plus b upon 2 is always there. It is always there in the a p. Look at that here, minus 1 plus 11, 10 upon 2, so this is the prime. So middle term in the AP is always like that only. So here it is A plus B upon 2. We want to find the sum of N. So multiply by that. You have to find Yes, so the next question, yeah, the question okay. We want to insert N number of terms in between in between 7 and 71. And the 
Fifth arithmetic means given as practice seven. So what is n here? So remember that when a and b are the two numbers and we are inserting this n number of arithmetic mean in this. So this is nothing but a plus b. This is nothing but a plus 2b. And so on. So that means a fifth arithmetic mean is a plus 5b. And a plus 5b, if it is equal to what? 27 is already given. And the value of a here is given as 7. So 7 plus 5b is equal to 27. So 5b is 20. So d is equal to 4. So d is equal to 4. And once we get, so we can say that this, this b is equal to what? b is equal to a plus n plus 1d. And b is nothing but 71. And this is 7. n plus 1 into 4. So we got value 4. So 71 is just cross in this. That becomes 64. That becomes 64. n plus 1, 4. So divide. 16 is equal to n plus 1. So n is equal to how much? So number of terms here. Yeah. So number of uh, insertion, the number of insertion is n is equal to what? 15. I think everybody understood this one. It's very simple. We can look it again. When you insert a one a uh, n number of arithmetic mean in this, the first mean is a one is a plus b. The second mean is a plus 2b. Third is a plus d b and so on. So a n is a plus n d and b is b is a plus n plus 1 d. It's a general formula for b. This is a n. Now a 5 is a plus 5 d. That is given a is your initial value that is 7. This is the initial value given as 7. This is the last value given as 71. And using this concept, we have just calculate d first, so d can have to have 4. Substitute uh, this d is directly in the formula for b. So we will get which the value of n. So n is equal to what? 15. That's it. We'll look at it again. Yes, uh, so next question, question number 16. It is already the sequence is given a, a plus d, a plus 2d, like this a plus 2 and d. So now the question is what is arithmetic mean? What is the meaning of arithmetic mean? Arithmetic mean is nothing but the middle term. Or that is middle term is nothing but the average of first and last, or the second and second last, third and third last, like this. Remember that this is always in the middle term is nothing but the average of first and last. And that is arithmetic mean also. So the question is what is the arithmetic mean here? That means we can say that the average of the first and the last, that is we should know, but uh, while doing that, so we have to, the first term is a. So a m is a plus a plus 2 and b upon 2. That is nothing but 2a. So 2a plus 2 and b upon 2. So that is get cancelled. So 2 is common and cancelled. So it is a plus n b. So automatic mean will be a plus n b. That's it. That's answer. Yes, so the next question, question number 17 here. Yeah. It is mentioned in the sum that a1, a2, a n are the n n's which are inserted between a and b. And this s is the sum of that all a n and a is a m of a and b. What is s by a? Is s upon a depends on what? That is the question here. Yeah. So clearly from this, the sum, a first of all a is a plus b upon 2. And S is, S is nothing but the number of terms into the middle term or average. The number of terms into average. So number of terms into the average of middle term. 
Negative again, but the sum of first and last. So it is n into a plus b upon 2. So basically, it is nothing but a. So it is n into a is x. Therefore, s upon a is equal to n. So s upon a depends on n, we can say. The number of terms, that's it. Because how many terms are there? They depend on that because that is a value actually, that is a ratio. S upon A is that is a ratio. Yes, uh, the next question, question of the idea here. Yeah. It is three numbers are in A, B is mentioned, and the sum of the three numbers is 33, and the product is 792. You have to find the smallest number. So, we already know in the 10th standard also that how to assume the three numbers in AP. So let me assume the three numbers in AP are three numbers in AP are A minus B, A, A plus B. Assume them. And then the sum is the sum of these three numbers is what? A minus B, A, A plus B, which is nothing but 3A. It is given as 33, so A is the value I got. 11 here, so a is equal to 11 and the product the product of these three numbers the product of the three numbers is nothing but a minus b into a into a plus d so a minus b into this so a minus d we just calculate that the product is given as 792 which is 11 minus d into 11 11 plus d it is 792. So it is 11 here divided by 11 7 are 77 and the 2. So it is 11 this there. And this 11 minus b into 11 plus b. So what is that? It's a 121 minus b square. It is 72. And this d 121 minus 72 is equal to d square. So what is that? 121 minus 72 it is nothing but 49. So 49 is a d square. So d is, is equal to plus or minus 7. So that is a plus or minus 7. So if you take a plus 7 minus 7, the reverse direction is possible. Therefore, if you take plus, then a minus d is the smallest. If you take minus, then a plus d is the smallest. So because we want to find the smallest number at any end out, out of this. So we can take a is equal to plus 7. That's better. So the smallest number is, the smallest number will be this a minus b. So it is a, what is we calculated a is 11, yeah? So it is 11 minus 7 that is equal to 4, that is it. So that means the numbers are 4, 11, and 18. 4, 11, and 18, like right? that, no? Yes, so that's the answer. Answer is the smallest number is 4.